the cell under the microscope and said, ah, it's just a piece of was passing. Then when he began, because his, his eyes became more and more deficient, he began making stronger and stronger microscopes. He began to see, well, God damn. He said, this thing is one of the most complex, simple forms of life in existence. But what creates that intelligence? What is the intelligence that lets a fingernail cell versus a hair cell versus an eye cell versus an ear cell know which one is which? Think about that. Can a doctor grow an arm and a finger? No, they can only take certain components that already exist to try to regenerate it, but they don't know what that is. They don't know what goes into. They don't know what the intelligence was that brought about that atomic structure. Now, just looking at the fact that that is intelligence at work, we will move forward. Dead, inert matter gives you nothing. You cannot put any herb into a fresh corpse, as I said, and witness any signs of life. There are no true tonics that give anything. They take with the illusion of giving. Let me repeat that. There are no tonics that give you anything. They take from the body economy with the illusion of giving you. The mistaken perception that a body struggling to eject a poison is somehow receiving energy is a perceptual lie. Let me say that again. The mistaken perception that a body struggling to eject a poison is somehow receiving energy is a perceptual lie to your senses. In the condition of disease, nature is unforgiving, as I said. It is the extent of your abuse that dictates the extent of your healing crisis. When you feel the effects of herbs and drugs, it is stimulation that eventually leads to depression. All stimulants are actually depressants. There is no such thing as a drug that sedates or stimulates. All drugs depress you. All drugs are sedatives. All drugs are sedatives. All herbs are sedatives. All reactions to drugs and herbs is the waste of vital energy to eject poisonous material. Now, you're going to see me get redundant at times, but I think I'm going to need to keep repeating myself so that we will correlate the information as we go on here today. Serums, vaccine toxins, potions and vitamins do not help us to avoid diseases or enhance health. There's a difference between a vitamin and a food. And there is a difference between food and life. Food does not give you life. We eat to live and we eat to die. Eating is a pathological habit of the fall. Oh, brother now, after I thought I got all my shit together, and I thought I had it down with my echinacea and shit, and all my juices and shit, now you're going to come tell me this shit. But I wouldn't be who I am if I wasn't doing this shit to you. If I don't agitate, if I don't make you go home and think, I ain't did shit up here, except waste your time and your money. Now, everything we're going to be doing is studying. Now, this is learning. This is what true school is about. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> oh, we done got, let me see, where we at? Uh, uh, why to pull it up? Oh, 
Here it is. Oh, that's what we do. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Oh, oh, I know what it is. Here it is. This motherfucker don't want to work. Shit. <laughs> ah. Damn, every time I point the shit at the thing, it don't work. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, I know. Oh, I got it. Hey! Check it. We're on. This is school. You all heard me on the radio program when I said, any lecturer, anyone who speaks to you, for under five hours, ain't saying shit. Check. 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 Why I say that is because you cannot get into not only the physics, but the metaphysics, which are the peripherals to why the physics exist, unless you had some time, quote unquote. You're going to need the type of time that we're going to be exercising here today to overstand and understand where it is we need to be tomorrow. And y'all gonna leave out of here being the decoders for the places that you now occupy in your homes, in your workplaces. People just being around you gonna start feeling different. Because when you think differently, you vibrate differently. And you bring different people into your periphery. Then those motherfuckers that can't stand you or can't be around you or got a Bible and gonna start throwing the shit at you, come to Jesus, motherfucker. No. That Bible, he bring that Bible close to you and it'll burn in his hands. Because he ain't using it right any damn way. Fucking around using these very esoteric metaphysical principles to keep people locked down in a bullshit paradigm of belief. Time to wake up. Now, all your doctors and your surgeons can pull teeth, burn out fibroids, cut out gallbladders and, 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 and uteruses. They can splice up your ovaries. They can extract tonsils and drain your sinuses. But not one of these procedures can bring you help. Not one. You see, in the practice of herbology, as with pharmacology, it is the atomic molecular arrangements of life in the herbs that dictate your response. The atomic configurations of herbs become perverted during preparations. This perverse molecular soup is then introduced into your body's atomic molecular configuration where it acts immediately to defend itself. And the organ it chooses is the one that best deals with the particular recipe of the soup you introduced. Today, it's sad to say that the New Age holistic health community is holistic in name only and carries the same fragmented concepts of life, health, and disease as their stepmother, the Orthodox Medical Church. The New Age alternative health community has become 21st century's Cure cult. Now, pay close attention, my beloved seekers. Junk foods that are sold to you as health foods. Junk foods that are sold to you as health foods. Now, don't bum rush me. Garlic. Garlic was used by our ancestors in Kim because that was a sedative, a medicinal at the time because of the high radiation poisoning. In my book, I spoke about the fact that you see these black so-called dreads or locks that you see on our sisters and our brothers at the time of Kim. Those were wigs because their hair were falling out due to radiation poisoning. It's in the archives. Those wigs were black and they were made of lamb's wool. Lamb's wool contains lanolin. Lanolin is excellent as a protectorant against radiation. Our ancestors also used toxic poisoning. The book, The Ebers Papyrus, is one of the greatest books on homeopathic treatments that ever existed. Let me repeat that.
The Ebers Papyrus is one.